fire away, Brittany. All right. Hi, my name is Brittany Smith. Um, I interviewed a guy named Christian Ruiz. He is 22 years old, and I actually met him back in eighth grade. Um, he's my brother's friend. So him and one of my other brother's friends, Stephen Moore, who goes here, uh, they both co-founded a company called Melted Silicon. They do um, mobile applications or user design, user interface um, for any screen size, any platform that you have. Um, Christian does the user design. He specifically works on Photoshop and whatever. He makes the apps look nice. And then Steven's the one who does all the programming and gets it to work. So they started as soon as um, they graduated from high school. Steven went on to UMBC, but Christian didn't want to go that path that everyone went on of going to college. He just he didn't want to do that path that everyone had. So he decided that he wanted to start this company. And Steven, knowing the programming, they decided to work together. And they came up with Melted Silicon. And they actually, their first project that they worked on, they worked on commission. The first project they did was for a friend who just said he wanted an app. They were like, we can do that for you. They started to get more of a, of a presence because they were on the internet. They work with apps. They know the technology well enough. So they were already on Twitter. Christian has um, this website called Behance where you can put up all of your work. He has um, a lot of different mobile applications that he's taken that already exist like Netflix or Hulu or whatever, and anything you can have on a mobile app, he makes it look a lot better. And he puts it up so that people can see it. And their company has been noticed by Microsoft and um, by Google. They were actually, or Christian, was blown out to the Mountain View campus for Google. And um, he got to talk with a lot of the representatives and um, you know speak about what he's doing, what he can do for them. And because if he were to work for a company, Google would be the one that he wanted to, so he's really excited to be on their radar. Um, yeah, they, they pretty much, anyone who wants the app can get it from them, so they're happy to do that. And I kind of was curious how he started, and like I said, he didn't want to do anything out of high school, like he didn't want to go to college. And he had an interest in a lot of art. He took design classes in high school, and he just kind of had fun doing that. He wanted to be a photographer, and he liked painting, but he thought that those were too mainstream. So he decided to go the app route because he did like technology, he just wanted to incorporate the two together. And so that's what he did. And um, he said that he would like to put more photography and video into the applications and somehow start that on the website. And that got him and I talking since I do cinematography. But um, he, yeah, he, he really likes art in general, but he wants to learn programming as well. Um, so any type of comp sci stuff, he wants to learn it, but he hates math, so it's like a learning process. But he loves to learn, so maybe one day he'll start to do the programming as well. Um, so, um, oh yeah, the company only has five people. Um, they are looking to hire more people consistently, but he likes managing it small because it's, it's easier and he knows the people that he's working with. They do bring people on the projects as they occur, but it's really just everyone kind of collaborates and talks. And right now, they don't have an official office space. They all kind of just stay at their dorms and collaborate. But they meet about once a week and um, get together for that. So he hopes that in the future, he can get a good office space for everyone to come together so that everyone can collaborate efficiently. Um, he said that they are there's no hierarchy. He is his own boss. Everyone else is kind of like their own equal level. Everyone has equal say. Everything um, so if someone has an idea for design, he'll listen to it and vice versa. Um, he works full-time job, so this is his full-time job. He'll work 40 hours a week on a different design, on a different project, and work weekends as well, and do whatever. But he's making a lot of money, and he still gets to spend a lot of his time with his family. So it all works out for him. And um, uh, for failures, he said that um, he doesn't actually, he's never started a company that didn't work. This is his first one. But they have had projects that they've had to put on the back burner because they just didn't work out, or the client maybe like didn't want to go that way anymore, they couldn't afford it, or they just didn't want to do anything. So failure-wise, that would be the only thing, but so far they're doing really well. And they'd only collaborate with other businesses for resources, otherwise they just don't really want to rely on them too heavily. Um, and then he, I guess advice-wise, um, he, I asked him first what advice someone has given him that he took to heart, and he said that was cheesy, but to never get up, never give up. And um, because people will always say, you know, is it worth it? Are you going to make 
make it worthwhile? Is it worth your time? Um, why bother starting a company? Why not go the easy path? And he said the easy path is easy for a reason, and he didn't want to do that. He wanted to make his name out there, and he wanted to do something that he really enjoyed and do it for people that he knew would appreciate it. So he took that path. And then for advice that he would want to give, he said to not be afraid to put yourself in uncomfortable situations, especially like the Google Campus one. Um, I mean, he's, he's young, he didn't expect to go to Google and meet with the employers, so that was um, definitely an experience for him, and it was uncomfortable, but he loved it, and it all benefited him, so that was one of the uh, pieces of advice that he gave, and um, I wish that that would come. Um, he has a thing called Pixel Shift, um, which he explains is um, just about revamping the websites like I was telling you. So um, for Netflix, he made it look cleaner. So each of the apps have like different parts that he kind of added to a group. Um, Instagram, Android stuff, Twitch, um, and then on their website itself, um, is one they're working on currently. Morning Coach was one of the failures. Um, they still have it on the website, but it started up, the company decided not to go with them anymore. Um, or really just stop the production in general, but that got pretty far. Prometheus is a game that they're working on that my brother's actually doing the art for, and then um, these are also works in progress. But um, yeah, so that's uh, it's fine. Questions for Brittany? What would you say was your biggest takeaway? Um, really nothing personal wise because I do want to go into like production companies. So starting a business I didn't really learn much, but I learned more about Christian himself and kind of like what drives him and her 